How's it going guys, it's Jason here and today's video is going to be on the Freddy vs Jason box set by NECA. It was released in 2004. Uh, I've also got a comparison uh, of the uh, Freddy and Jason uh, Movie Maniac Series 1 uh, box set but this came out uh, before the movie Freddy vs Jason was released so it wasn't really the design, the figures weren't designed on the characters from the actual movie where this one was. This uh, was released in 2004 uh, and the movie came out Freddy vs Jason in 2003. So um, yeah and this figure being uh, pretty much six years newer than the uh, McFarlane Movie Maniacs box set uh, is a lot more accurate well it's accurate to the movie freddy versus jason but it is also uh, a lot better designed the the figures are a lot more detailed um and the they're also uh, a bit more well not really they haven't got that much more articulation to be honest they're more statues um with similar articulation so rotation at the shoulders um and waist, I don't even think the NECA figure has the waist articulation. What is cool though is that um, Freddy comes with an alternate head. He has his head hat, uh, his signature hat, the fedora head, and then he's got the demon head, which looks really cool. Uh, Jason comes with his machete and alternate um, hand, which has him holding the uh, severed head of Freddy which is the final scene of the Freddy vs. Jason movie where um, Jason walks out of Camp Crystal Lake holding Freddy's head and uh, Freddy winks at the camera. So th I thought that was a cool addition. It also comes with an awesome base that has um, flames around a wood decking, which I, I uh, believe is um, the pier of Camp Crystal Lake and when it's set on fire. So that looks really cool. The, the figures look, uh, what I also like about this box set is that the figures are in scale. Jason is obviously a lot taller than Freddy. Uh, Jason's like a monster where Freddy's sort of a short, shorter guy. Um, so with the Movie Maniac Series 1 figures, they weren't to scale. They're, they're about the same height. But um, again, this wasn't based off of the movie. But even in, in, in the movies, in each separate movie, if you're going to make figures of them, they'd be different heights. But yeah, so uh, let me show you the box of this. Uh, it's got Jason and Freddy side views. One side's got a picture of Jason on it here. So yeah, another cool feature with um, this Necker box set is that uh, Jason comes with a removable mask. Although they don't have a picture of Jason without his mask, so um, that's a bit disappointing. But uh, yeah, Jason in this box set from McFarlane Toys, uh, his mask is not removable, so you can't take the mask off. Um, another feature is um, that Freddy has a magnetic hand, which is also pretty cool. And yeah, they 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 are limited to their posability uh, compared to the ultimate um, figures that Neca has been bringing out recently of um, Freddy and and Jason and other characters uh, that have ball joint shoulders, elbows, knee joints that are you know amazingly posable. These ones are pretty much fixed as a statue, so you pretty much set them up and yeah, can't don't really move them. They're just uh, like plastic statues, but awesome figures nonetheless. Um, so yeah, four years, or no, sorry, six years newer than the older McFarlane toys. This is a video of the Freddy vs. Jason NECA box set. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Uh, let us know in the comments which ones are your favorite figures. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Keep an eye out on my channel for new action figure reviews and videos. Cheers. Speak to you soon, guys. See ya.